So how do you treat patients online? Well, before I show you that, let's talk about why it's an important consideration. Well, depending on where you're watching this, uh, you may we may be well beyond COVID, we might be still in the thick of it, I don't know. But here's the thing, is that I think for years, medical professionals, we have been paid for what we do, right? So if you're a chiropractor, if you're a doctor, if you're a physical therapist, any kind of health professional, um, for the most part, you have immense knowledge. But if you think about what you've been doing, it's a lot of um, trading time for money, right? Getting paid for your hands-on work. And the reality is if you think about it, what you should be getting paid for is what you know, not so much what you do. And so this is the whole idea of transitioning or at least adding virtual services to helping people online is that you have immense wisdom and capabilities that can help people beyond what you can do with them in person. Now I get a huge amount of backlash when I talk about virtual services because it challenges the status quo, right? We, we've all been brought up in what I call the medical matrix, which is this whole paradigm of treating people in person. And listen, there's a time and place for that. I'm not disputing that. But let's say that your practice is shut down for whatever reason, right? If we have another viral pandemic, or what if you just want a little bit more location independence? There are ways you can help people online that you would be surprised of how incredible the outcomes can be when you start thinking differently about how you can help people, okay? So the benefits of treating people online, number one is it gives you more flexibility in terms of how you wanna live your life. You can be, you don't have to be chained to a four wall clinic. You can, you can travel with your family, you can work from anywhere you like. And if it's set up properly, the outcomes you can create for your patients or clients is a lot of times better depending on the scenario. So I want to give you an example um, because the nice thing about working with people online or virtually is that the only thing that limits you is your imagination. So I want to give you an example of my physical therapist. So I play a lot of tennis and when I would go see him for a shoulder injury from a lot of serving, here's what it would look like. I'd go into the clinic, I get a 20 minute treatment and then I'm done. And then I see him whenever. And I'm thinking to myself, how on earth is that a good treatment plan? It's not. So here's what I'm thinking. If I'm a physical therapist in that scenario, here's what I would do is I see the patient once a week in person. In between our sessions, because I think we all want our patients to get better, is I would put together a treatment plan that the patient, myself in this case, would be able to go through on my own. So, hey, Yuri, thanks so much for stopping in today. After this treatment, here's what we're going to do, or here's what you're going to do on your own before our next session. I'm going to give you access to an online portal where I've created some videos that's going to show you exactly what to do exercise and stretching wise to keep your shoulder healthy and move it along to getting better before our next session. Something as simple as that. That's all you need to think about in terms of how can I empower my patients, my clients, between my touch points with them, where they can take more ownership of their healing journey, okay? So that's why I say the only thing holding you back in terms of treating people online is your imagination. And like, listen, like all the legal, excuse, like the legal, all, the, all that stuff, right? The stories we tell ourselves about, oh, I can't practice online, blah, blah, blah. Believe me, we've helped thousands of practitioners over the past five years you can do this okay i don't care what practitioner you are dc md nd pt rmt listen like for every story and excuse that we've heard we've also seen multiples of other practitioners of the same designations do very well online now let's say you're a hands-on practitioner like a chiropractor physical therapist acupuncturist massage therapist your obvious objection is going to say well what am i supposed to do give virtual massages no obviously not you have to think differently you have to think outside the box and this is why i talk about you have to think about helping people with what you know not what you do because even if you're a massage therapist or even if you're a physical therapist you have years probably even decades of experience knowledge and wisdom that if you think about okay if i could never touch someone with my hands what would i advise them to do on their own 
even without your help and accountability and support. What are some things they could do on their own? And that becomes the foundation of how you start helping people virtually. And then when you talk about adding in support calls, check-in calls, you can run lab tests, you can do all sorts of stuff online that is, again, legal, right? I'm not talking about doing stuff that's black hat. We're talking about doing things that are legal and legitimate that can actually work for your patients. So when it comes to treating people online, treating patients online, growing your practice virtually or adding virtual services to what you do. The only limitation standing in your way is your imagination and your ability to be open-minded enough to try something new. If you're not too sure how this all works and you'd like some help with this, then this, listen, this is what we do at Healthpreneur every single day. We've helped thousands of practitioners grow their brick and mortar, grow their virtual services. We're the best in the business. If you'd like our help, there should be a link below this video. Click on it. You can actually watch one of our trainings called the Profitable Practice Method. And you can learn more about how that all works and how it might be able to work in your business. If you like what you see and you want to book a call with us afterwards, by all means, you can do that as well. All right. So that's all for today. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment below. I'll see you soon.